In this video, I'll be silently installing the new MSI X Microsoft Team Installer. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And I will be using psexec to execute the installation and that's because I want to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. If you want more details about that, you can check out the video that I have here in the bottom of my GitHub page. And now I will begin this video by downloading the MSIX installer and for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft documentation about the new installer and the modern Microsoft Teams. And here I will click on the link right here to download the MSIX 64-bit installer and then I will go to my downloads folder and wait a bit for the installer. And now that I have the installer, I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And I will be performing the installation on this virtual machine. As you can see here, I have the psexec folder with the psexec executable, and I will place the installation file into this folder. And like I said before, psexec is not necessary, but it allows me to see if the installation would be successful if I'm using software deployment tools such as Group Policy or PDQ Deploy, or for example chocolatey with a different account and now i will open a cmd window i will run it as administrator and first we need to change the directory in our cmd window to the location where we have our files so I'll click here and copy the location then i will type cd and place in the location press enter i will also switch to my d drive and if i type there we can see our MSI X installation file and also the PS exec executable because if I do who am I now you can see that I'm running under the admin user and I'm I will be using PS exec to switch to the system account so for that I will type PS exec minus I for interactive minus S for the system account and the process that we want to launch is another well not CMD let's launch PowerShell press enter I will agree with the license terms once again we have another window, but this time if I type who am I, you can see that this time the shell is running under the NT authority system user. So once again, we want to change the directory to the location where we have our files. So we'll copy it from here, type in CMD and insert the location, press enter. Once again, I will type there. And once again, we can see the files in our directory. And now to execute the installation, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have few options. One option is to use PowerShell command add a provisioning package and the second one is to use DISM. For the first one we need to execute it from the PowerShell window and the second one we can execute it from the CMD window because I'm now in the PowerShell window I will be using this command right here. We're providing a parameter online this means that we want to change the operating system where we are running this command instead of offline image then we need to provide the file that we want to install and also i'm using a parameter to skip the license check and i will click on the button right here to copy the command go back to my virtual machine insert the command press enter and now we need to wait a bit and it seems that the installation is successful if i go to my start menu go to all apps scroll down a bit here we can find microsoft teams i can click on it and it gives us the sign-in screen. So everything seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.